Despite fan protests over the legal battle with Johnny Depp, Amber Heard will reprise her role as Mera in the Aquaman sequel. To confirm this, the same actress has already thought about it several times, which she has reiterated in his participation in the DC film even in a recent post. Huge Warner panic as Aquaman 2 flops. Even Momoa can't save it from Heard. Aquaman and The Stand star Amber Heard recently caught attention for posting a topless photo from a magazine shoot on social media, and it looks like the actress is firing back at her critics. Late last week, Heard took to social media to address a controversy that reportedly arose in the wake of her posting the photo, which allegedly involves the followers of the lingerie company La Filet Dio trying to get Heard's photo removed from Instagram to no avail. Heard criticized hashtag La Filet Ego for failing to support other women and ended her tweet with the hashtag, hashtag free the nip. This is just the latest time that Heard has appeared in interview after she previously graced the cover of the magazine in 2015. In the interview accompanying this photo shoot, Heard speaks about her experience being an actress and with deciding which parts of her life to make public. It's a weird thing for an artist to do, especially one from my generation who didn't necessarily grow up with social media, Heard tells the magazine. I've only had social media for two years. When you're in the public eye, you become used to being fiercely protective of your image and your private life, and protecting that from being used against your best interest. And that creates a relationship with privacy and having to fight for said privacy. I think that's why people are sometimes reluctant to join social media. But I have to say that since being a part of it, I realized that for all those years I missed out. I was just one of the only people not weighing in on my life. Heard has been an advocate for feminist causes, including LGBT equality and domestic and sexual violence. For several years now, something that definitely carried over into her taking the role of Mara in the DC Extended Universe. She has integrity, Heard told reporters during a visit to Aquaman's set. Her and Arthur are very different. In fact, that's part of what causes a lot of, you know, they don't necessarily fit at the beginning. They're constantly going back and forth and they earn this relationship with one another throughout the film as they learn to respect each other, given their vastly different approaches to life. Mara, for instance, unlike Arthur, has a very solid constitution, a strong sense of self, who she is, what her role is, what her position is, and the sense of duty and honor that she uses to approach all of the situations of her life is one that I respect and really like and I admire that. Mara's her own woman, Heard continued. She's her own superhero. She's not Aqua Woman. She's Mara. Part of what got me, you know, when I first talked to Zack Snyder on the phone about the prospect of doing this film, he said, she's a warrior queen. Basically, you get a sword and a crown. And I was like, okay, you know how to pitch to your audience. Alright, I'm listening now. I don't want to be a damsel. I've played a range of characters as diverse as I've been able to, being a woman, especially a bit of a young woman in this industry, raising myself in this industry, it's been limited, but I've done the most with what I can. Especially considering that the one thing, the one element they all have in common is that they're driven or powerful in their own right. If rumors are to be believed, Warner Brothers fired Amber Heard from Aquaman 2 because she's too fat violating her contractual requirement to be in superhero shape for the film. The rumor appears to have started with Australian gossip site Sausage Roll, who said that a source told them Amber Heard did not pass her physical examination. She's put on some pounds and is in terrible shape. There is a clause in her contract which says she is required to be in a good form ahead of shooting and she violated that. They added that Warner was hoping that Heard would be in shape in time to start filming, but had signed Amelia Clark to step into the part in the event Heard wasn't in shape by then. It's probably not true. Even if the reports are accurate, then Heard hasn't been fired so much as Warner has secured a backup plan in case she fails to make weight, so to speak. But that's probably not even the case, as THR reporter Ryan Parker tweeted that the reports of her firing were inaccurate. Could it be the case that Heard hasn't been fired but has been told she will be if she's not in shape by the time filming begins? Sure, but even that seems unlikely. It's not unreasonable to expect someone in a superhero movie to be in superhero shape. Even Kumail Nanjiani did it. 
but Warner has mostly been concerned with avoiding bad press, and oh boy would they get bad press for essentially telling Amber Heard, sorry, no fat chicks in 2021. The think pieces on how Warner execs are fat shaming Heard and unrealistic superhero body types would be even more endless than they've been for the past 40 years. They're going to digitally edit every frame of this movie anyway. If Heard is a little out of shape, they can just slim her down in post and avoid all the controversy. If Warner fires Heard, it'll be because her court cases against Johnny Depp, as well as public opinion, have taken a huge swing against her from where they stand today. And I don't see that happening, at least not on a time frame that leads to changes being made to the film. Amber Heard, who plays Mera, shocked her fans on July 2nd when she revealed that she had given birth to her first child, a girl called Unag, three months prior. More unexpected was the fact that Heard, who was previously married to Johnny Depp, stated that Unog was hers alone during the parenting process. She had no romantic or other relationship. The actress stated in the caption of an Instagram photo of herself cradling her kid, I now realize how radical it is for us as women to think about one of the most fundamental things. I hope we get to a stage where it's considered normal not to desire a ring in order to have a crib. Heard is far from the first woman who has decided to go it alone when it comes to parenthood. For many, the knowledge is invaluable, and it's all about paving their own route to motherhood. Jane Mattis, a psychotherapist in New York City, created the organization Single Mothers by Choice in 1981 to assist such mothers and fathers. The term was developed by the organization to describe women who decide to become mothers knowing that they will be the lone mother or father of their kid at least at first. Jane Mattis, a psychotherapist in New York City, created the organization Single Mothers by Choice in 1981 to assist such mothers and fathers.